This weekend, West Palm Beach police say a Canadian teen was arrested for making online threats to a gay pride event over the weekend. Finding these online threats is now an emerging part of police and police in South Florida are actively involved. WPTV's Matt Sesney is live at police headquarters with more on how police are tracking the Internet. Matt. Yeah, Tanya Gay, this is a whole new world of police work and they're doing it here in West Palm Beach, diving deep into technology to try and fight crime. Inside the walls of the West Palm Beach Police Department, some police work includes watching the web. We are uh, on the cutting edge of technology in, um, in the country, actually. Lieutenant Cliff Hagen is with the Department's Strategic Intelligence Center, or STIC. The center zeroed in over the weekend on the Canadian teen, who police say made a video post threatening a shooting at West Palm's Pride on the Block event, a video first seen by police in Miami. That officer uh, upon viewing the video that was uh, collected there and recorded by our witnesses, thought it was a credible threat, notified her supervisors. Her supervisor notified us immediately. Internet threats are increasingly part of police work now. Mass shooters like the one in Buffalo is suspected of leaving a long trail of web postings. Or in Uvalde, where the alleged gunman left cryptic messages online. What police departments are tracking. Alexis Piquero is a criminologist at the University of Miami. The smallest thing that might not be a threat to the average person is something that every police department will investigate because there's always a possibility that that one that one thing that was said in the statement might lead them down a road to really prevent a horrific event. And it's the stick unit's job in West Palm to get those reported threats and sift into sites most of us know and those we don't on the dark web. We're taking all the intelligence that we're getting um, from different units and from the public and we're putting that together, evaluating threats as they come apart. And then the detectives are also assigned to real-time calls for service. All right, and in addition to just watching the screens and the technology, there's a lot of cooperation among agencies. In this latest case this weekend here, there came the tip from Miami police, then the stick center investigating the video, and then I'm told the NYPD got involved, working with Canadian authorities to get that arrest made. Live in West Palm Beach, Matt Sesney, WPTV, News Channel 5.